My name is Igor Paspal, and everything you just heard was coming straight from this guitar. And I mean everything. So basically, a backing track is played from YouTube using guitar Bluetooth connection, and the sound is coming through guitar built-in 10 watt speaker. Also, guitar sound, you know, amp simulations, reverb, delay, everything are built in in guitar. And finally, the sound balance, or let's say mix, I also mix it in guitar using mixer feature from the guitar accompanying app. At the end, I've just sent signal from guitar output jack into my computer and recorded this short improvisation without any external sound processing whatsoever. It's all possible with the new Enya Music Nova Go Sonic electric guitar. Now, before I run through uh, some of the features and other stuff, uh, I have to mention that this is basically normal electric guitar like any other. And you can use it normally without need or use of any of these smart features that I just mentioned earlier. It's basically two humbucker pickup guitar. You just plug it in your favorite amp, you know, sound processor, uh, VST plugin or whatever, and play it as any other electric guitar. Now we'll get to all of that a little bit later. And let me tell you now a little bit about the features of Novago Sonic. So obviously it's a LP style guitar and it's made from acoustic carbon fiber composite with chamber body design. It has a two humbucking pickups, Alnico 5 at the neck position and Alnico 2 at the bridge, with the option to change the neck pickup wiring uh, from serial to parallel with this volume push-pull pot, so you can basically emulate some single coil type sounds. It also has an asymmetrical neck shape design, basically it starts from a C shape in the higher frets, coming more to the V shape in the lower frets. And it has a 22 medium high crown uh, nickel frets. Everything is finished in very nice made finish. And other features are bone nut, uh, zero fret design, then three-way toggle pickup switch, and zinc, zinc alloy bridge. Now, beside all of that, it features some serious smart capabilities. We have first Bluetooth connection for playing backing tracks, for example, or music through built-in 10 watt speaker. Then we have Enya ES1 Pro system, which is basically built-in sound processor, DSP, with, you know, with presets, amp simulations, and various guitar effects. Then we have connection ports. We have a standard guitar output port. Then we have one uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone output jack for silent practicing, and USB-C port for charging as well as OTG or on-the-go recording, allowing you to capture everything playing guitar, including presets and backing track to your computer or mobile phone. Finally, there's a full integration with Enya Music application, which is available to download on Google Play or App Store, with even more in-depth settings and features, which I'm gonna show you now. So, let's quickly go through Enya Music app, basically accompanying app for your Enya guitar that you can install on your iOS on or Android phone. It's very simple. Basically, you launch the app when your guitar is turned on. You just simply press connect. It's going to search for it. You see, it found Nova Go Sonic System. And it's going to immediately connect to it. And it's going to load all your presets. So basically, you have a four section clean overdrive distortion high gain with four different presets each, which you can customize, you know, change virtually every single parameter, you know, from amp to, you know, every single parameter you can edit 
You can, you know, change different effects, chorus, tremolo, vibrato, noise reduction, delay, you know, stuff like that. And of course you can save it, as you can see. Whenever you do some changes, you can save it. And you can basically load it in your guitar and you can change the four presets at the same time. Beside that, you also have a mixer when you can, you know, mix the guitar volume with the Bluetooth speaker volume, for example, your backing track and stuff like that with the line out. So it's very, very nice. And then in settings, you have some factory reset, firmware update, auto on off and stuff like that. Now, beside all of that, there's also some very cool tools inside the app that you can access them. For example, you know, drum machine with, you know, so many rhythm kit genres, you know, even effects to put on your drums, like, re like reverb or, you know, compression and stuff like that. Then you have a metronome, you know, with the tap tempo function and everything else. You have a tuner which you can access for guitars. It's very, very, very cool. Very, and you know, as I said, packed with a lot of very cool and nice features. Also, I have to mention, at least on iOS, you know, you can also uh, access some of these functions, you know, by just quickly holding the app, you know, on your home screen and just go to some, for example, metronome or going basically to your, you know, drum machine or whatever. So yeah, very, very cool. Now, let's hear some of the presets and guitar sounds which are built in. So everything is coming straight out of the guitar without any external effects used. <laughs> And now, let me show you how this guitar sounds uh, when we use it as normal electric guitar. So basically using only power of its pickups and construction. I'm going to use external amp for this demonstration and I'm gonna compare it with two other LP style guitars. <laughs> So, to wrap it up, it's a really, really good and versatile instrument that can be useful to pretty much everybody, from beginners to expert players. Now, uh, before you start comparing it, you know, to your XY $3,000 guitar, or, you know, comparing any uh, built-in amps and effects to your, again, XY $2,000 amp or, you know, effects processor, bear in mind fact that this guitar doesn't have ambition to compete with that. And most importantly, taking con consideration its price tag of roughly $350. You can practice on it, you can quickly capture ideas to your phone or computer when you're traveling, you know, on the go, 
and without the need to fire up all your studio equipment. You can play, you know, over backing tracks with it. And after all, you can use it as normal electric guitar if you want, without all of that stuff. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video. And if you're interested about more details, head on to any music website and check it out. Thanks for watching and see ya.